So we have the next presentation by Paul Paolo Lemmy. Uh, he's going to share about uh, uh, Nic uh, Nicolina and Kids Science Club integration of children in love with the universe. So welcome, Paolo Lemmy. Uh, over to you, Paolo. Uh, Hassan, I would request you to stop sharing the screen. I did. Okay, I start? Sure, you can start. Okay. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening for everyone in the globe. Uh, I'm, I'll talk uh, on behalf of the Nicolinia Science Club. Um, <clears throat> and uh, forgive me, I started by the end. <laughs> That's <interesting>. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and uh, it's the integration of children in love with the universe. Uh, my name is Paulo Leme from Brazil. Uh, this is a web-based science club, uh, and it's uh, for children with particular interest in astronomy. Uh, but actually not only astronomy, it's science in general. Uh, these uh, kids are eager to learn and disseminate astronomy and astrophysics. And the name Nicolina stands for the name Lido Nicole, which is this eight years old girl uh, who started all. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, she's impressive. Um, it's dedicated exclusively to girls and boys from four to 15 years old. It's located in Brazil, uh, the continental size country in South America. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it has 57 members uh, presently. Uh, from all over the country. Uh, there is a waiting list of 155 children. And uh, the, there are members also in Portugal, here in Chile, uh, in Israel, and three of them in USA. The activities of the club uh, are categorized in internal and external. Uh, classes on astronomy are internal activities. Uh, here, for example, you have a, we have a subject on asteroids, and this is given by partners, physics teachers, and amateur astronomers. Uh, one of the activities are activities of uh, experiments and challenges. Here, the theme is acid and bases, of course. Uh, it's a chemistry teacher here. Uh, the partners are of physics, chemistry, biology, and even other subjects. You can see here, this is a class on paleontology. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, it's a diversity of subjects. Uh, internal lectures by the children. Uh, here you can see uh, they get support on slide assembly, on positioning in front of the cameras, and other uh, use, use, useful tips. Uh, in this example, these three girls here, down here, uh, they are talking by, uh, with. Uh, uh, Burst of stars, parallel universes, and nebula. The subjects are amazing. Uh, they have a, a, another activity as an asteroid hanky. Uh, here, uh, the program is a partnership, of course, between international astronomical uh, search collaboration, the IASC, of our friend. Uh, Patrick Miller, 
and uh, this is a, a joint program with the Brazilian Ministry of Culture, Technology and Innovation. Here, uh, there is a training by the little girl, little Nicole here, uh, with the team number 27, two girls and a boy here. Uh, they found already over 10 asteroids in just uh, uh, over two months. Uh, the, one of the activities is training for the Brazilian Olympiad uh, of astronomy. Uh, where they get medals, uh, gold, uh, silver, and copper medals. Uh, it's uh, this program, uh, or this Astron Olympiad, is open to all public and private schools at no cost. Uh, we have several medalists. Here are just a few of them. Uh, there, there are also sky observations. Uh, uh, astrophotos, uh, image processing workshops, uh, spaceships and rocket modeling. Um, there are external lectures, uh, like this one uh, uh, in this channel, Detect Detective of the Cosmos. Uh, this was presented, this channel is in Mozambique, Africa. Uh, this was uh, broadcast to five uh, uh, African uh, uh, Portuguese speaking countries. I mean, four of them, uh, one of another one on sport. Uh, they also have asteroid day lectures. In this example, Nicole is uh, talking about the menu. menu. Uh, this one is talking uh, uh, with uh, the asteroid Vesta. Uh, this one is asteroid Charito. These are three of them. There are over 12 uh, <clears throat> that was given uh, in uh, June the 30th, uh, 30. Uh, uh, they make uh, interviews with astronomy professionals. In this case, uh, they are interviewing uh, Dr. Duilia de Mello. He's a Brazilian uh, astrophysicist working at NASA. She was responsible in part of the Hubble project. Uh, this one is uh, Dr. Carlos Moura, which is the president of the Brazilian Space Agency. Uh, this one is uh, with Rosa Dorad, the well-known, uh, one of the organizers of this meeting. Uh, there are external lectures by the children mentored by an astronomy professor. In the case, the astronomy professor, I am. Uh, they have a challenge to choose the theme, search and stud study, and uh, assemble the presentation and present on the schedule, the date, and time. Uh, there are uh, amazing subjects. Started with Sabrina, which is 12 years old. She talked about uh, black holes. Then there was Alice, she did 11. Uh, she talked about causes. Then there was Sarah, uh, 12. She talked about the life cycle of the star. Uh, this was in April. Last April. This is Mariana, uh, which is, who is 10 years old, and she talked about asterisks and constellations. Uh, then the Leticia, 10 years old, uh, talked about the formation of the solar system. Then, amazing, uh, Sophia Bessa, which is 13, talked about phosphine in Venus, uh, sign of life. <laughs> And uh, uh, the last of this series uh, is uh, Maria Eduarda, uh, who is 12 years old. She talked about nebula, uh, the tourist points of the universe, spots of the universe. 
These complex subjects are chosen by the kids themselves. The lectures are tested through YouTube uh, with a partnership uh, with the Project Astronomical Chat in Portuguese, but the Papo Astronomico. Um, the average number of views of each lecture is 500. Uh, the last one got over uh, 1,200 views in just two weeks. Uh, here you have it. They received their first public scientific lecture certification. Uh, as you can see here, they are so happy. Uh, it means a lot of them for them to have the first uh, certification giving lectures. The communication uh, communication channels are the Instagram, uh, preferred uh, social media by the kids. Uh, the address is Nicolina e Kids. Uh, it's the club's main communication channel. Uh, every internal activity is published here, uh, also some external. There is a WhatsApp. Uh, they communicate with each other uh, through a kids exclusive WhatsApp group. Uh, the group is monitored by Nicolia's mother. It's important to mention. Uh, there is all, always someone monitoring. monitoring. Uh, they exchange messages regarding all the club activities and astronomy information, but they also help each other in school duties. Uh, there's also the YouTube, which cast most of external activities, and other social media used are Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. To become a member, you have to speak Portuguese up to now. Uh, no way, they are kids and they don't are fluent in English yet. Uh, send an email asking for the membership with the full name and age of the child, uh, the name of the legal guardian uh, to nicolinaekidsgmail.com. Uh, despite all the activities, the club is just over three months old. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, we're in the process of collecting information of the myriad of activities uh, to analyze them and establish more consistent heading for the project from now on. Uh, amazingly, the number of girls exceed that of the boys by far, but there are some. Uh, we're always surprised by the complexity of the subjects they choose. Uh, they claim it contains more curiosities, uh, but our concern is that they do not have yet the basic concept of physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, which are necessary to understand not only the how, but also the why of the universe phenomenon. Uh, they master the content presentation, presenting with confidence and at easy, uh, in addition to the new knowledge and skills. Teamwork has been an important achievement. Uh, they learn how to socialize with respect and courtesy. Uh, they are inspired by each other and inspire non-members as well. Uh, here is a session of them uh, it's an internal session you can see there are the dolls here <laughs> even discussing science the childish spirit remains uh, the mottos of the the club are changing lives through the science motivating and inspiring uh, and generating opportunities for children that's all. Thank you for watching. This is my email if you want to get in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Paulo. This was a really beautiful talk and uh, so inspiring.
and I cannot still believe that it's just three months old and it's so many achievements and so uh, making it so children centric is the real beauty of this entire program. So uh, yeah, I think each of us should have such a kind of a science club and uh, that's what is going to really make a change in the world. Uh, so if there are any questions, I see really beautiful comments by a lot of people. Uh, so Christian says it's an inspiring program uh, to see uh, kids with this love and passion for sharing astronomy at a very young age. Julie says this is an amazing program. Paolo Way is inspiring. Uh, SN Ayer says uh, activities beyond the kids of age. Uh, real heroes and thank you Paolo. Amazing achievement. And yeah, again, Christian, only three months, but you already achieved a lot. And Bonnie says, uh, thank you, a very good program and initiative. Uh, amazing, many programs accomplished relatively in short times. So yeah, I do very much agree that short times give a lot of beautiful uh, activity. Uh, so if, yes, Carl, I see your hand and it's, and it's 10, 10 minutes uh, over. So yeah, over to you, Carl. Um, pa Paolo, how do you, uh, recruit, we fought, we had an after school club, but the maybe we had too many teachers, but the student attendance seemed to have dropped off. How, how did you retain the students? Uh, that's fantastic what you did. Well, uh, actually, you did nothing, uh, just to uh, nothing else, uh, just to do the activities, the internal activities, and uh. Uh, they they are inspired by the, the, the knowledge of astronomy. They don't have that in schools here in Brazil. So uh, uh, they like it, and mainly because they are not just spectators. Uh, they, ah. are, they are active. So they, they give lessons, they, are, uh, they give lectures, uh, they prepare their presentations, they uh, they choose their own uh, uh, lecture. They they study them. They search all all the information on, on the web uh, and in books. Uh, they make observations themselves. So they are very active. Uh, wow! I think this is the the main uh, reason because they they are so engaged uh, with the program. Excellent. You're very welcome. Uh, I see oh. a question by Julie. Uh, yes, over to you, Julie. Yes, thanks. I realize I'm a panelist and can't write in the Q&A. Anyway, maybe raising my hand is the easiest answer, uh, way to do it. Uh, yes, no, amazing. I was blown away by your program, especially since it started such a, long, uh, such a short time ago. But I'm kind of curious. I mean, you have amazing graphics. You have you seem to have a website. That, that takes time to maintain and kind of budget, but is this, this looks like it's entirely run by volunteers, is that right? Yes, sure, They're just wow. by volunteers. So is someone like a parent, you familiar with website creation or is that yes. just like internal talent? <laughs> Actually, uh, little Nico mother uh, is uh, the main uh, responsible for the publication, for the site, for the all the publications, and uh, also she is uh, she has a full time mission here, <laughs> you know. Uh, Nicole is just eight years old. Uh, she is the youngest of uh, of the group of the fifty seven uh, members already, uh, and it is. Uh, but something has to change because you know there are one hundred fifty five uh in online uh <laughs> to get into the, the, the into the club so it will give much more uh labor uh for someone who is uh, uh organizing it uh managing it. Uh, i'm just uh, the the the, ma the mentor uh, of the public uh of these more complex uh, subjects uh uh, there is another fellow who is uh, responsible for the astronomical chat uh, project. Uh, the, he has a, a channel and uh, in YouTube and uh, also on Facebook. 
and uh, he is the one responsible for all the transmission, the best, best is on the program. Wow, amazing. Thank you. You're very welcome. This is, this well, is really thank you. Getting, working with volunteers. Thanks, Paolo, uh, for the beautiful presentation. I request you to stop, stop sharing screen. Um, so our next presenter of the day is... Uh,